What about for today? Today's fighters. Probably uh, Bud, definitely one of my one of my favorite fighters. Uh, like I said, Shakur, um, just a uh, tank. You know, a lot of high IQ. You know, fighters. Like I said, uh, very adaptive, and you know, I like I like taking pieces there of their game and adding it. You know, to mine. Who who really got you thinking in there the most? I would say probably Shakur. You know, everybody um, says that. Yeah, it, it's a it's a it's a high level chess match whenever we get in in the ring and inspire each other. Yeah, Coach Dirk told me about you. You know, he's like, yo, you got to interview DJ. DJ's the truth. Yeah, yeah, he he's actually been there a, a lot of the times we, we sparred. Mhm. Mhm. Um, what's the what's your uh, the two top guys at light at lightweight are, are Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson? Who would you favor in that fight? Um, I don't know. Man, I think that's gonna be a great fight. You know, they both got their their attributes. Uh, you know, like I said, Shakur has great range and and distance and defense, and uh, Tank Davis has got great power and explosiveness and and patience. They both have high IQ. Uh, I've been in there with both of them, so they definitely both have high, high IQ, and um, I'm excited to see uh, see that fight if it ever happens. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be an exciting fight, though. So you you um you say if it ever happens, you feel like it won't happen? No, I I feel like it will. Um, you know, they both mentioned fighting each other for a while now, and uh, Tank said that. He recently signed an eight fight deal, and that you know Shakur is on that list. So you know, I I definitely believe it's gonna happen soon. Mm. Do you, how how do you see that fight when you look at it? Um, mm, I think it's just gonna be a high high level chess match. Uh, like I said, um, yeah, both fighters are gonna try to establish, you know. You know their dominance over over one another, and uh, I feel like who whoever um, controls the the pace and, and the distance is really going to be the winner of that fight. Mm, mm, I like that. I like that. So, um, do you do you see like uh, Ryan Garcia um, at the top? like at that top with some of these guys due to the fact that the size, I mean, you've been in there with all these guys and it seems to me that he's not like a true 140. Is he big? I mean, pause, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He, he's definitely a, a bigger fighter. Um, you know, he, he was big for 135. He's, he's still big for 140. So, I mean, uh, size definitely plays a big factor in, in the fights. Um, I mean, we've seen it with with even older fights like uh, Tommy Hearns and, and and Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, it's it's hard to get in on on you know fighters with you know who are bigger and have have longer range and and you know are just able to take punches better due to their size. So I, but I I don't think size is the only thing that Ryan you know has going for him. You know, he of course he has that left hook. But um, I think he's a, he's a smarter fighter than a lot of people give him credit for. Right, right. ESPN top ranked, they got a number two at 140 pounds. So we definitely want to see uh, if you know maybe he gets some guys to to fight. Um, who would you want to see him fight? Uh, any of those top guys. You know, um, I feel like a fight between him and and Subrio Matias would be would be real. You know, interesting. You know, they both got power. So, um, you know, I don't think we've ever seen Subriel Matias hurt. And um, so, you know, that would be a pretty interesting fight that I would want to see. What, what about Matias and Devin Haney? I think that'll be a good fight, too. You know, Matias definitely has power. But I feel like, you know, uh, Devin's got great, great boxing skill. And he can box you from round one to round 12 the same. So. You know, um, it 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 would all de- that fight would all depend on if Matias can land his power shots on Devin. 
you know, you you spoke you spoke upon Devin Haney's uh, boxing skills. You know, uh, I seen that Mayweather had a lot to say upon, you know, his fundamentals. Um, when you talk about like high level high level guys, and you know they speak upon you know Haney and Shakur a lot. Do, do, what what are the differences between those two guys? Do you think besides being Southpaw and Orthodox? Um, their their styles are 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 pretty different. You know, uh, Haney, For sure. Haney Haney likes to take uh more chances than than Shakur. I'm not mm. saying Shakur's like a scary fighter and none of that, none nothing like that. You know, because right. you know he'll he'll definitely let his hands go and let combinations go. But um, you know, I, I think uh Shakur, you know, manages his distance, you know, real well. And I I think that's that's the biggest difference between between the two so you know you spoke a little bit upon you um wanting possibly a, a title fight in the next couple of years um you know what what names do you feel like you see that will you'll see down the line possibly maybe even guys that you fight in the amateurs that that are becoming bigger names now is there anybody that you see that you know you probably see down the line maybe not at 126 maybe at a, at a higher division i don't know um at my current division right now, you know, anybody with the belts, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't, I'm not picky when it comes to, you know, fighting, wanting to fight for this belt or that belt. But, um, you know, who, whoever's, you know, in my past that I have to fight in order to win that world title is, is, is going to be who, who, who I'm going to fight, you know? Is there, 